All right, guys. Welcome to Wayne's World Garage. Happy Monday. It's a gorgeous day outside. It's going to be up to 80 degrees. Of course, it's Maryland, so it's going to be humid and it's summer. But you may have uh, recalled we've been working helping my neighbor out, Charlie, uh, push back his tree line back into the woods a little bit so we can recover some of his fields. His neighbor, Charlie Smith, um, who's like 80,000 years old, has like bulldozers and stuff like that. He managed to push over some of these trees that we're looking at taking down. So that makes my life a whole lot easier, especially not necessarily these here, but I'll show you there's a couple of them um, that were big leaners. They're nice maple trees, but they were leaning 30%, and those are kind of sketchy. But in the meantime now, my job is to get some logs for our fair. Our county fair is coming up in several weeks, and like a nutcase, I said, we well, can bring plenty of logs. Well, we got plenty of trees here. Uh, Phil Allen and I were going to cut them down, but now we don't have to cut them down. We still need to cut some down, so we'll do that. But in the meantime, let's get bucking some of these guys here. So what I'm going to do here, let me measure these guys out. Um, this looks like a hickory. We don't need uh, big long pieces, so I'll make them into eight foot six or nine foot, and uh, we'll buck them from there. So let's get cracking. <laughs> Off me, who? Oh, you know. <clears throat> Thank you. Of course, remember, I bring all my stuff I can. I forgot my cant hook. So we got sliced, sliced. This one here, it's not going to roll far, so I think we should be good. The trick with the 261 is remembering to turn it on because the other saws are always on. <laughs>
the next one. And let me help you out here. This saw is nice because it's so light, actually. Um, that could be one of my Christmas basket this year. So what do we got here? Uh, we've got this guy still leaning down on here, so. Ooh, it could be a little bit tricky. Did an undercut there. Uh, we can do it. We'll do an undercut here. Well, he's gonna pop through like that. So I'll do it first here. Plunge him. Let it rip. So what I'm doing here is I scribed it along the top. Now I'll do a plunge cut, do a plunge cut through here, and I'll fall down that way so I'll have a little tab here. A little hinge we're putting on it. So let me get going here. So, so one of the things I do, you see me pulling back and forth on a saw. It's not like I, I think it's a, like a Polish chainsaw. I know it's not how to cut, but I'm doing that, just feel if it's starting to squeeze and bind on me. If it starts to bind, I'll do something different. All right, so now we got these two guys cut. We got an easy cut left. Just same exercise, we know you know, where's the pressure on this thing? It's going down like this. It's gonna pinch up here. So I'll do a top cut up here, then plunge it down the bottom and make a little hinge. I just kinda of like that way. I just wish this would start as well as my smaller saws, but. It does not. So this is a good time for a voiceover. We know what happens if I cut this straight through, it's gonna pinch where the bar is. But what I'll do is I'll do a small cut in there, just a few inches, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'll pull the saw out, you'll see, and I'll plunge it in, leaving a hinge on it. And then when I lift up on, cut the hinge from the bottom, it'll pop and it'll cut it very nicely. And I don't know if that's the great, greatest way of doing it, but it seems to work out pretty well for me, see? <laughs> All right, well this is what takes a little bit of time since I don't have my tractor here. Um, if I had a tractor, I'd just grab this, but I'm a one-man show today. So let's do this. We're gonna take this guy here and we'll put the winch around one of them and pull it free and see if we can go from there. How does that sound? Like a plan. 
I could use my log hooks, but I think that'd be a waste of time. I hope I can get under here and pull it out. We'll see in just a second here. This may not work, may or may not work. We'll see if we get enough juice on the winch. If it was a tractor, it'd be easy because I'd lift it up out of the way, but it's not. But it's still, it's a good day to be outside. Stand by while we give this a little bit of a pull. Maybe. pretty well, although I might suggest I did not cut through this piece over here all the way. What is up with that, dude? We're gonna take the tension off of it. A little bit of tension. Don't tell me it's not free this time. Last of one of these. I'm not. This could be maple. Maple's not a bad tree either. It's definitely dead and definitely not very big. But here's how it works to drag them over. I put them on the winch since the tractor's not here. I just drag them over. Kind of works pretty well. I don't know if this video part will work or not, but that's the way it is. Put them right back there. With any luck. All right, on to the next one. All right, so the next step is to unravel this guy because it looks like this could be. I'm pretty sure this could be hickory, and hickory is a nice wood, and it's nice and straight with a couple pieces. Maybe I can whack it into 17 foot, at least make it easier to transport. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. So let me see here what we've got. I know there is a hickory tree around here. One of these is hickory. I'm not an expert at figuring out what hickories are, but let me show you how I know. It's a hickory nut. It's in the walnut family, apparently, but it's hickory. Nice. There's a lot of hickory nuts back here in this one. So what are we going to do to get this guy out of here? Um, the problem is Charlie, not a complaint, um, stacked these guys up, and I don't want to be working with a saw six feet over my head. So I wonder if I put my cable on here, my choker, and give it a little bit of a tug, See if I could pull it down. 
doesn't hurt to try, does it? Let's give that a shot. So if I can throw the choker on him, maybe we'll be in good shape. Let's see if we can get a choker on him without knocking my teeth out. Would be a pleasant thing to have happen. I'm not gonna break the shackle, it's just a matter of physically fitting around my choker. All right. So now, when you pull these, don't pull them like this. They'll destroy them. Pull them the way they're designed to be pulled. Please don't be a snowflake. So the whole point of this is get this guy in the ground so I can saw him up because I don't want to saw him in the air. And I think he'll pull over, especially if I stand right here. Get out of the way. Well, Kubota's moving. Wow. Maybe it won't work. What do I? Are we getting stuck up there? I would have thought I would have pulled it right down. Huh. Because it's getting stuck on this guy here. That's what the problem is here. You know what I could do is I could cut this guy down. That's what I'm gonna do. Let me loosen it up so I can cut him down. Well, now I see there's another branch back here, which is not helping, but let me give it a little tug and see what happens. Might just do it. It might not. Oh, come on, here you go. How's that? We're getting there. Exactly what I wanted to have happen. Nice. Nicely done. Now I can yank this guy out. So let me uh, let me debranch him and get cracking. That's exactly what I wanted to do. And now I get access to this other one too. So sweet. All right here. Well, let's see how this works. I've got some. Uh, sit I'm going to try to get 17 footers out of this. See if I can drag them out with Polo's Kubota.
I'd say that's done. Now the question is, can I pull these guys out of here? It's 17 foot pieces, I think so. Well, here's what Charlie Smith uses to push these guys down. It's Caterpillar, it's a 943. Doesn't look very big, but it apparently does some good digging. Doesn't look like much, but I got two 17 footers. They're not big. Um, a, a nice eight footer, three nice eight footers. But these are for demo purposes only, so we can use them at the Anne Arundel County Fair coming up, I think, September 13th. And we get to play with the Detroit Diesel, the 471, which is just a whole lot of fun. So Phil and I and a couple guys may go there later this week and make sure she starts up and is ready to rock and roll. But we got a couple nice logs here. Um, we have a whole bunch more to do. But I don't have my, uh, my can hook. That would be Phil to help turn these guys and, and move them, and Alan. But uh, they'll probably, maybe later this week, we can work on that. Let's see what else we got to do. Well, happy days are here because Charlie Smith took his Caterpillar 953 and knocked this guy down. So that's the next video of us bucking that guy into little pieces. So thank you for watching this one. Stay tuned and I'll start editing the next one. Take care and have a great day.